Oh, throw a rock. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the first round World Cup match between Andy Devo and Bernie Buffon. Start with a thrown rock, stunning a catcher. And uh, this is quite interesting. This uh, Normally, I'd introduce the teams, but what you see here is um, an offset LOS. Now, this is... It's actually a good... It's a good tactic from a team like Dark Elves that don't have weak players to target. Um, but it's also very good against new players. <laughs> now here, the, the, you, you know, you've got to choose between either maximizing blocks and leaving yourself horribly open to a blitz or having your team split in two, or you protect your, you protect against the blitz and, and the swarm, basically screen off your whole team. You know, you could have two guys here, two guys here, two guys here, ogre in the middle. You know, Bernie's already fallen for the trap and put the the ogre on right off to one side. Um, and yeah, really, th th this is this is worth this is worth commenting on because Bernie loses the game in turn one in this game. Um, he's got a token screen out here. And then he brings him back. That you can't do this against Els. He split his team in two. Now, I've actually just I've actually just recorded the um, the match between Chaksu and Onan. Now, what he's done is is basically the same but different. Uh, Chaksu didn't defend the ball when it was near the near the LOS. He has defended the ball when it's not near the LOS. Now, if he had put maybe he's, if he'd left this guy here and just gone for the pickup and moved forward. And then move some guys back and keep all of his players in one mass. That would have been good. But he's only moved two squares to pick up the ball. You know, he's only going to have to move two squares to pick up the ball then stay there. Huge, huge bonehead. That's unlucky, but it comes with the territory, you know, relying on a relying on an ogre to do stuff for you. I shouldn't have followed there at all. A terrible follow. And, um, yeah, he ends up. He ends up in a horrible situation. I mean, he's done. He's done a bad follow, another bad follow. <laughs> um, <laughs> you know, he's he's broken a couple of AV, but they're only stuns. He needs he needs removals. He he puts him even more compact. He just makes the team as compact as he possibly can. I mean. Let's just pause it here. This this is spectacularly bad. This is something you'd expect from somebody who's played about 10 games in Champs Ladder. <laughs> you know, maybe that's a bit harsh. But, I mean, come on, this is the World Cup. Bernard Buffon's got a 69% win rate in Champs Ladder. He's played 1,000 games? Yeah. No, 950 games nearly he's played in Champs Ladder. 69% win rate. Andy Davo has played... Got a 77% win rate in Champs Ladder. Bernie's just won the PS4 Champs Ladder, in fact, season 15. Andy Davo qualified through Rebel. He, you know, he's played loads of tabletop with Dark Elves. You cannot... This is this is basically... He's lost the game on turn one, uh, Bernie. And funny enough, my prediction, my prediction was that Bernie would make a really big mistake and throw it away. And, yeah, I was proved right on turn one. You just cannot do this. You know, it's it's unbelievable to make it even more compact as well. You know, if he had somehow fanned out, to, then maybe he's, maybe Andy wouldn't have split the team. If he if he'd made it hard to split the team, because Dark Elves are relatively slow compared to Wood Elves, but um, he just made it worse. He made it more compact. He did follows he shouldn't have made to give away hits. And the fact that he moved this guy out of the way, even he could have had both of these in the way to like screen it. But he, he moved them out of the way and just rolled out the red carpet to have his team split in two. It, it's it's unbelievable at this level to, to to make a mistake like this, you know. And now, obviously, Andy Davo is playing like somebody with a 77% win rate and completely, completely encircles this, this tiny little cluster of men. I mean, he gets lucky with an AV break, sure, but that doesn't... You know, he's completely surrounded him. Um, arguably, he should have just made this block with block. Um, and then moved the other guy around. But, you know, it's not so bad. Now, Bernie here. Bernie here has to get his team back together. <laughs> he has to get the team back together. Now, how does he do it? How does he do it? He can... Uh, 
you can try and blitz this guy and get them together here, the short way. I think the better way might have been blitzing this guy. How far? One, two, three, four, five, six. It would have been risky. But that might have been the better way. But this this is the obvious way. Um, obviously, a very unlucky double bonehead. But, you know, he gets the, the guards there, and he basically needs a knockdown here, and doesn't get it. He gets the both down. He needed the power so he could get the follow. I think that was probably worth a reroll, seeing as he's just, you know, he's in this spot here. This is such a bad spot to be in. It's unbelievable. Or instantly, he's completely outmaneuvered, and he's just scrambling to stay alive from turn one. Um, you know, completely, completely screwed if he fails this dodge. And completely screwed if he fails this dodge as well. Yeah. He made he made them both. And failed to catch a one. I mean You know it's and now here there's 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 a way to get a one dice in the ball, but it's not worth con it's not worth considering, I don't think, getting a um, possibly a two dice in the ball actually. But it's not really worth considering for any length of time. Obviously, these two guys are like keeping the team together a little bit. If you shut this off, you know, and stop him regrouping, that's that's what he has to do. He has to keep these five away from these six, basically. Turn the screw. He's fine with the wrestlers, and he would have, he would have obviously rather powered, but the wrestles okay. Yeah. Gets another AV bro. So I mean, but Bernie's a, Bernie is being unlucky here. You know, he has had, he has taken consecutive stuns, consecutive ogre boneheads. He, he hasn't had good dice, but he has also been comprehensively outplayed. <laughs> you know, there's only. There's no way to get the team back together now. No way at all. A, a one dice blitz here, and and then a dodge out. That's what he has to do. Or he could do this blitz to save this dodge. But then there's then, you know, he just can't get it back together. It's just it's just horrible. It was it was appalling to watch. To be honest, I, I felt for Bernie because you know he'd he'd won champs ladder. He'd won champs ladder actually. Um, after the Invitational Cup had been announced. So he was in the Invitational Cup, despite not needing to be in the Invitational Cup. And he actually got the final of that. So he'd done great with the team before it, before the World Cup started. However, he was, he was in bash mirrors. And, you know... He didn't, he didn't, he didn't throw away the game turn one. <laughs> In those games, and now you know they're even further apart. He he kept it safe, but he made it even further apart. So now he gets to even go more ham on the cage. You know, it's just horrible. Obviously, cover the catches because the one advantage that Bernie has in this match is he does have movement eight players. So you know, keep the catches under control, and and just turn the screw. And yeah, what can you say? It, it, I mean, it, you can't really criticise Bernie after turn one, you know, much. At the end of the day, he he, he was tr he should have he could and should have tried harder to get his team back. I think he should have used the reroll on that blitz, or he could have gone the other way. Um, I wouldn't have hated going the other way. It would have been risky though going the other way. But you know, he could have made a double, couple of GFIs even and gone the other way. Um, but he just needed something because he, he's never he's never getting his team back as a unit now. It's just it's just it's just horrible. <laughs> you know he's only agility three, so when when he's in trouble, he hasn't got an easy way out. I mean, he has boneheaded three out of four turns. It's why I don't really like big guys because when when you need them most is when they fail the most, isn't it? You know, it doesn't get a knockdown there. He, he need, but what, what does he even achieve if he does? You know, maybe he runs out here, maybe he screens it off. But and because that because that fails, 
and he can't really go around there. He moves, he go, he's got to go even more split in two. <laughs> and it's like, at this point, he needs to start thinking about how he can not get stalled out, you know? He, ha he, has, to, he has to accept the fact that Andy's going to score here. Um, all he can do is hope that to make it before turn eight, you know? So... It it might there there may have been a good case for not even doing anything with the ball, and just blitzing over here and and dodging these guys down over here to try and stop the stall at this point. Um, it was this point in, in my chat that someone said, "If you switch views, it looks pretty good for Bernie. <laughs> looks like he's stalling near the end zone." But this was just it was just a massacre, wasn't it? Free surf here as well. Um. Yeah, really. This was really the most the most one sided, one sided half in the, of the World Cup by far, really. And, and it was just the first turn, you know. Like, after that, he was he was on hiding to nothing really. The setup, the setup was poor, and the first turn was horrific. And it it just he can't he can't save the half. <laughs> from from turn three, he could not save the half. He should have been thinking about how to uh, how to stop how to stop Andy stalling the half out. Um, but you know, look, he is getting lucky. He is getting a stun every turn. You know, it, it, it's not it wasn't easy for him to recover. But he should have. I think he you know well he, he lost it turn one. That's all there is to say. <laughs> but he hasn't lost the game. He hasn't. He hasn't actually lost the game because um, this is the second half, you know. But I think he's mentally pretty broken at this point. So it, it's easy to say. It was easy to say watching it, you know. If he composes himself, maybe he can come back into this. Um, but I think it was very hard for him to come back because you, you're giving the elves the power to be able to you know, kill the game with an early score, potentially. Well, not really, because humans are quite fast, but, you know, a 2-0 almost certainly wins the game for the Owls. And he's trying, you know, he, he vaguely defended the ball. Um, it wasn't it wasn't terrible. I think I, think I would have surfed the ball here. Um, well, oh yeah, he does, doesn't he? He's got jump up here. Fair enough. <laughs> I remember now. <laughs> um, yeah, because people people in my chat were saying they wouldn't want to surf, but at the end of the day, wherever it goes, you've got actually four players to pick it up. So it's it's a pretty safe going for pretty safe going for the surf now. Players spread out on the ground. There's quite a few men up. Ball scatters just back and forth here for a while. <laughs> and then it ends up not bad. I think I would have taken the more cautious route of, you know, assisting here and then picking up here. Um, but, you know, this this is fine to kind of go into a cage-ish. Just rolling more dice. I don't like it. I would have just blocked and picked up. I guess he would have given us three plus for a one dice. So, so getting into a cage is, you know, it's it's pretty safe, isn't it? Pretty safe. I couldn't make it completely safe. Okay, oh, but this is the thing, you know, because he's under such intense pressure, he's he's completely lost the drive because he's not getting hit with his mighty ball tackle. And <laughs> he's always boneheading all the time. <laughs> but that was it because he lost uh, because he lost the momentum the way he did. He couldn't do anything. Gets a gets a cheeky one die surf here. Gets the counter surf. That's not bad.
has to dodge this guy out, doesn't he? I would have dodged him rather than the block. Um, again, you know, these three still hasn't got back together. And then Kaz's himself. I mean, that was unlucky, obviously. <laughs> but it wasn't... It couldn't go that great. He's just got a 2 plus with a reroll to get away. You know, can fully cage. He can just do what he likes, get surfs. Anything he wants, really. He's going for the double surf here. Being, <laughs> being greedy by nature. <laughs> he's, he's going for the double surf. Um, maybe he shouldn't have done that. I think maybe he should have gone for a, for a cage, but... It's fair enough, isn't it? But yeah, it's massive for me. This was this was the, but you know it, it wasn't it wasn't that bad after turn one. It wasn't good though. I was a little bit surprised like this. I, I would have got the assist and hit the mighty blow tackler to just keep, you know, because to me, the way that Andy doesn't win is his three kills stay, stay out and Bernie's three kills come back. And then suddenly he's down players, you know, and the, and the mighty blow is, is a way to, to, for him to get back in the game, you know. what? He should just blitz with mighty blow here, shouldn't he? You know, hope for a removal. Um, finally gets the mighty blow guy near the ball on turn seven. Oh, you just get two dice on the ball. Oh yeah, okay. Maybe he shouldn't have blitzed with attack my ball. Yeah, this is a two dice on the ball, isn't it? Okay, but he's got no re-rolls. And he both downs himself. Turns out. Turns out the tackle mighty blow and knocked someone over. <laughs> but you can't judge it by the results of the dice. But yeah, that was that was sloppy to the land the two dice. For sure. But he does pay for it with a surf. I mean now it now it really is safe isn't it <laughs> after all after all that um, there, was, there was kind of vague chances for burning vague chances but yeah pretty much Pretty much lost it turn one. Now he hits the mighty blow. Yeah, I definitely want the mighty blow guy out of the picture because you know the the way Bernie gets into it is being really lucky with removals, isn't it? You know, lucky with chaos, lucky with removals. If he doesn't get that, then uh, and the the worst thing is there's only one roll. There was certainly the argument for scoring on turn seven to stop this one where you lose, which is your chaos stay out. There was an argument for scoring on turn 7 for sure, but I would have probably st stalled out till turn 8. I wouldn't want to give him the yellow ass blocks. And the possibility of a right or a wrong turn. So there you go, 1 0 at half time after Bernie's drive. Um, but you know, he, he's in with a chance. He's, the both which I'll stay out. All three of Bernie's still. Oh. <laughs> there goes his route back into the game that is just such a huge swing isn't it crazy that, that they all stayed out Three, six, eight players so now you think with 8 players 9 versus 8 Dark Elves with a man advantage they can do whatever they want they can probe a little bit and they can pull back, they can move around they've still got 3 dodge guys you know they are they are missing two dodges, which are obviously good for repositioning. But they've still got three dodge. They can move anywhere, do anything. Easy, easy stall out. Minimal dice. And then if Bernie makes him roll dice, then he rolls the dice and either scores or, uh, or switches sides. I think this is maybe a bit too far upfield. I think, I think that's a bit too much of a you know after, after winning the first half instantly on the Bernie team split, he maybe splits his, his team a little bit too much here. This is a, this is quite a commitment forward. 
Obviously, gonna dodge with a guy in the ogre. Just he was just there in case of a blitz. A blitz result on the kickoff table. I mean, he hasn't really got these guys as scoring threats, have they? So I just think it's just a bit weird because it lets him get pressure on. You know, he gets to blitz, blitz here with tackle. I would have blitzed here with tackle and, and again try to split his team a little bit, you know. Maybe uh, going, going for the furthest forward guy is, is the normal thing to do. And it, it's okay, you know, base up the guys that don't have don't have dodge and just make him roll dice and... You know, I, I, I don't know about that. I think if you let him score early, you know, if he wants to roll dice to score early, let him score early. I, I, I don't think you needed that. Catcher there. I would have, I would have gotten, I would have got him based. Yep, yeah, that's good. And I would have based him up as well. You don't really need to base up the uh, the blodge guys because they're probably going to make all the rolls. But yeah, I think I would have based everything actually. I don't, I don't like this <laughs> because he could have just, you know, made the block as a one in nine block. Uh, this is one in thirty six. But he's got the re-roll. I, I don't know. It's dice rolls. I'd want to make as few dice rolls as possible in this situation. You know? A few two pluses. He'd have had to use re-roll on that dodge. He'd have had to use a re-roll on the catch. Risky, isn't it? It's a bit a bit riskier than he than maybe he wanted it to. Making this dodge first as well. You know? One, two, three, four, five, six. Um yeah, you couldn't have got there with him, so it was it was all a bit risky. There were there were three dice rolls. If they were only if they were a one, he would have had to re-roll it. And then if he's on one re-roll, he's he's in a much worse situation. Obviously, he's never going to re-roll that one. And now is Bernie? You know, Bernie's are pretty, but Bernie's are pretty fast. Humans are pretty fast. That was a bit unlucky not to get a pal, um, because you know it frees up this guy. Like humans are pretty fast, not that fast though. <laughs> humans are pretty fast so they can kind of react, but that was his fault. He, I said I didn't like that position and now he's had a GFI to get him back into position. So you know, that's Bernie's fault that he failed that GFI. You know, it, it's harsh and it, you know, he's under pressure, he's tilting, you know, no wonder he's kicking himself for the way he's set up. And it, it's in a World Cup game, maybe he's nervous, maybe it's pressure, but his bad positioning his previous turn made him kind of unlucky the next turn, didn't it? Um, so it wasn't really that unlucky. But he gets the dodge to put a bit more on. But this is the beauty of elves, isn't it? They can, If they want to score, they can. Probably, unless they roll the one in 36. He's only got two pl two players that haven't moved now, so the uh, I think he's just going to go for the score here, isn't he? Assist there, two D, and then dodge the score. No, he's not. Oh, he, he oh, was that was bad, wasn't? It? Uh, well, I would have gone for the block. So one in nine block is better than one in six GFI. Um, you could argue the failure state was better, but I think that was a misplay there for sure. Could have just done a two dice block to uh, make it to cut the GFI off. Both which else stay out. Two KOs come back from Bernie. It was a GFI, wasn't it? I'm, I'm not. I'm not wrong. Yeah, that was that, that was that was definite mistake there. So now he stays in the offset despite being down players. Bernie learns his lesson from the first half. And doesn't put all of his guys... Oh, no, wait. No, he does exactly the... He does exactly the same thing again. Oh. <laughs> um, yeah. You know, again, just leave the red carpet open for pressure. Um, but, you know, this is a bit different because now he's going for the two-turn touchdown. So, you know, going crazy over to one side is normally what people do when they go for a two-turn touchdown. I would have maybe gone the other side, 
and you know not maybe he's just got one LOS block with the ogre and then put everyone else on the other side and blitz here and make a you know make make the dark elves have to go further to influence the play because dark elves they're not really that fast are they they're movement six linemen so he's got four movement seven but he's got he's got a few movement six as well so I think this guy should have been further out just because you don't want you want to give yourself you want the ball to be here so a you don't get served and b you've got the option to dodge that way and more option to move laterally so I think I think his formation should have been out further than it was for sure these two are both here and here it seems much better to me and then you could also move the extra guy first uh, there's obviously the argument for leaving him here in case you want in nine so that that that's not bad but yeah leaving your guy on the sideline unless you're standing a guy here is very bad because elves you could have easily surfed there you know it wouldn't have been it wouldn't have been crazy to surf you know four plus with dodge four plus without to surf isn't isn't terrible and that's that's without even thinking isn't it you can you can see that now obviously i don't think I don't think Andy is going to do that. He's just going to be clever and, you know, <laughs> well, clever, sensible is what I meant to say. And just blitz a bit and base a bit and screen a bit and, you know, try to get, try to get in this kind of area. But it certainly was an option to serve. Um, and it, it wasn't a crazy option. Yeah. At all. It really, it really wasn't a crazy option to surf though. So I think... I think Bernie should have done better again. And because he's stuck on this sideline, it makes it harder to get out. This this was a mistake here, wasn't it? Or did, or did he stand up and only he could only go three? Yeah, fair enough. Um, it was a mistake from this guy standing there instead of there. Because if he's standing in this square, he makes a screen with this guy. Um, like a, a strong screen here. He's actually doing nothing where he is. <laughs> once uh, once Bernie pushes this player, only needs a push, then it's a straight a straight three plus to score. Whereas if he'd been stood here, it'd have been four plus three plus. So this 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 player basically did nothing. So that was that was a definite mistake. But you know, it's it's fair enough, isn't it? You know, it it is it is the World Cup, and you know there's nerves and pressure and everything. So like. You know, making two GFIs to do absolutely nothing isn't isn't a cardinal sin by any means. But I, I like how Bernie plays it all safe before he goes for it. It doesn't make the block that some people have made in this World Cup. You know, some people have been making blocks that weren't necessary. So he's got himself he's got himself back into it in two one. Um, now I think this is where I nearly died laughing when I was live casting it. Um, so, which elf comes back? The other one doesn't. Bernie, <laughs> seen what Andy's done <laughs> and copies him. <laughs> and that has got to be... That, this was the highlight of the World Cup for me when he did this. He's kind of, you know, he's got, a, he's got an ogre here. So this is a good, strong thing. He should have probably done two here, two here or something. You know, he, he didn't need this guy. This guy here isn't doing anything. He's, he's not going to go where the ogre is. So he should have probably put him over there, um, something like that. But hilarious. I mean, you know, that cracked me up. He's been absolutely done by the uh, by the offset LOS, and then he does it himself when he's got a strength five dominant player that he wants wants that Andy wants actively wants to avoid. He sticks him on one side so he can be avoided. Amazingly, Andy doesn't fall fall for what Bernie fell for. He didn't put a cluster of players here. He actually put a strong a strong presence of players on the other side. <laughs> Funnily enough. <laughs> Funnily enough, he didn't get noob trapped by the offset LOS. And um You know, he obviously planned to two dice these guys and, and dodge and dodge away from the Ogre again. But didn't have to the uh you know with a the quick snap and he didn't have to deal with that. But you know what, Bernie, Bernie did do well to, to get back into it. But now he's really got to play well, you know, and, and this guy, this guy was exposed by not having anyone behind him. He did leave, 
pretty big gap. There would have been a point to the offset if he'd put more players up in this area. And finally, Andy rolls a one. I believe this is the first, the first one not rolled by a, not rolled by a dodge player. So um, finally uses a reroll on turn thirteen of the match. You gotta feel, gotta feel good about yourself when that happens, haven't you? When you get dice that good, you just really didn't feel anything at all. And you know, and there was some critical. There was some critical two pluses as well. He did. He did make. So he definitely got away on his own defensive drive. So he's got away with a bit with it so far. It, this is tough for Bernie because he's got to put pressure on. Um, but also, he can't like, he can't be too passive and he can't be too aggressive. So it is a very, very hard to defend against elves in this situation. I hated this move. Hundred percent hated this move. Yes, it gives you an immediate scoring threat. But guess what, if you put him here and block this guy down, not only have you knocked a guy down, you've made a screen with your players, and you've got your catcher protected as well. And also, if he gets the ball and moves eight here, he's safe anyway, you know, you don't need to make it an immediate score. He, he just needs to get to overtime. He doesn't need to score before turn 16. So I really hate it. This is the real definition of a canoring threat. Um, Canor loves to always have a scoring threat, and and... I think you know you don't have to have a scoring threat here. He should have. He could have been in the play, either contributing by an assist there if you wanted him forward, or just by covering back here if you didn't want him forward. And I think that was a big mistake pushing him there. Um, but yeah, you know, is what it is. Like it, it's still it's still tricky for the humans. It, it it he is in a tough spot, but he would have been in a less tough spot if that if that lineman was knocked off, <laughs> and he had another player that could move around and do stuff instead of just you know he was he was already on ten players and he just put himself on nine. So that's not good. It's not good when you're outnumbered. When you're outnumbered by. Uh, uh, when, well, you're equal with elves, ten aside, and then you just make yourself outnumbered. Just running around here, doing literally nothing. This was... I didn't like this because if Andy scores, he's won. So I would have pushed him back a square just to take him out of being a scoring threat. He actually pushed him, you know, so he'd only have to make one GFI to score. And seeing as Andy has been quite happy to roll two pluses during the match... I wouldn't have liked to do that. I would have definitely wanted to keep everything in front of him. In front of me. He's also given up this guy free to move. You know, I'm not screened off at, at all. Um, he's given up a surf as well. <laughs> and yeah, it's it's not good, is it? I think I would have moved the. Uh, I think he moves the witch elf to the wrong square. I think he did intend to score here, but moves the witch elf to the wrong square. And if you move the witch elf to here, then he gets a three dice into a three dice to clear the uh, blitzer, but instead kind of has to change tack. Um, and makes a kind of unsafe cage. It's it's not terrible, but it's a bit it's a bit bad, isn't it? <laughs> it's just a bit bad. It's not terrible. Again, it's not terrible, but it's it's worse than it should have been. Again, rolls the one on the dodge players. You can't, you can't teach that. He doesn't cover the backside here. I mean, he could only cover the front or the backside. A um, couple of options for Bernie. He can uphill with a catcher to get the uh, ogre blitz. Or he can run around to hit here. Of course, he's really feeling this player that he's lost. Though he would have had to have him in scoring range this turn anyway. So, so now, he, perfect spot for the catcher. Now would be five squares inside. So he's, he's got the scoring threat. Like maybe here would be perfect square. Um, so yeah, I, th I thought he was crazy here, not going going for the Olga Blitz. Um, also, this throw could have. This isn't this isn't wrong, you know. There, there, there's pros and cons to each. And at the end of the day, it is turn fifteen. He doesn't actually have to score this turn. So I think I would have wanted the the thrower here to, you know, have a tackle zone for the dump off. 
he elects to save him for recovery. Which, you know, it, it isn't it isn't wrong. You would have caught it on a four anyway, so But I personally would have moved the uh, would have moved the thrower there, thinking that I only have to recover next turn. Though, having said that, of course, he could just roll some two pluses and win. You know, wh whether he'd caught it or not. So, it's a, it's a horrible spot to be in, having to turn over elves that don't roll ones. This was a bit of a crazy move, putting him even further away so he can get, couldn't get based. I don't think Andy's going to make two GFIs to base you when he can just score instead. <laughs> you know, he's not going to do two GFIs before he tries for the score. So... He just made his own score harder for no real gain. More, f yeah. And I mean, it's it's an easy clear and a two plus dodge to score. So you know, it was funny. It was, it really was a game of two halves. Um, First half was just an absolute rookie error by Bernie. Threw away the game in the first half, but second half he really fought, and you know he really did well in the end to to make it as close as he did. It doesn't look close, three one, but you know normally going two one like that on you know wouldn't have been that bad. But it was just his own offense. You know, he put the guards on the LOS instead of protecting the ball with them. He could have had one protecting the ball. He, he really needed to keep his team together. That was the biggest thing. He had to keep his team together. And he just voluntarily split them in the worst way imaginable. They were just in a little. He's done a fourth of PS4. Well, you know. It's, uh... <sighs> I don't know. He really just—he should have done that. He should have done that when he uh, received in the first half, and then at least he would have had his team together. <laughs> He's done it too late. <laughs> He's made the four symbol too late. If he had done that when he was receiving, he would have—he would have probably won. He would have maybe got to overtime if that's how he'd set up in the first half. Um, but yeah, really, you know, maybe he was nervous. Maybe the pressure got to him, but that was a really, really basic, incre unbelievable, because he made it worse. He didn't even shore it up. He just actively made it worse. He didn't move back with a thrower. He screened it and picked it up when it was out of range of everybody. And he just he just isolated himself even more, put, moved his players together even more. It was it was the opposite of what he needed to do in that in that first turn. And, and you know he paid the price, even though he had a valiant effort to come back from it. So you know it was you have to say it was thoroughly deserved win for Andy Davo. He was he was somewhat lucky with the armor breaks, out armor breaking somebody with two mighty blow, but the mighty blow tackler was, found himself irrelevant most of the game due to Bernie's horrific, horrific uh, first turn, horrific setup and first turn. They they both compounded each other, and then he maybe could have maybe could have rescued it better than what he did. But it was a tough ask, really. Once, once you're playing somebody of quality, when you've when you've made that start, there's really no coming back. And he really did well to make it, you know, make it close, somewhat close at the end. So, congrats to Davo. Commiserations to Bernie. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And stay fantastic.